Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from uh, Cinema 4D Tuts, and today I'm not really going to be doing a tutorial. It's Monday. Um, I hope most of you guys didn't have school today. I think everyone in the USA shouldn't have had school today, or most people, um, and I live in the USA, so I didn't have school today. I had a four-day weekend because I skipped Friday because I'm a senior, and I have six days of school left or so. So um, anyways, hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, so... This this isn't really going to be a tutorial. It's just going to be showing you some of the, uh, I guess, aspects that a lot of people don't really know about Cinema 4D. Um, it's it's not a tutorial. It's uh, just showing you guys. So um, if you go to Window up here, you can go to Content Browser, and this opens up this sort of uh, window that just uh, says like Computer Network Presets, Catalogs, Favorites, Recent Items, and Search Results. So um, if you go to presets, there is a ton of stuff uh, that I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't even know about. If you do know about this already, you can stop watching the tutorial. It would be rather pointless, or not tutorial, but uh, tip, I guess. Um, so yeah, there is uh, some really nice stuff in here. I don't really, uh, I don't really know how to use body paint that well. Actually, I don't really know how to at all. Actually, so uh, but um. If you go to broadcast, there is 3D objects, and there's a ton of cool stuff. Um, the, you go to abstract, and there's some cool abstract objects. Um, this is useful if you're lazy and you don't feel like making something, or if you don't know how to make something and you want a cool abstract object. Um, I'm not saying this is a way to like bypass not being good at Cinema 4D and just using presets for everything, because that's not what you should do. Um, but this is useful for a lot of things. So just go to abstract and uh, you have to double click on it and you have the object. That's all it takes. Um, then when you render it out you have that cool object. Um, yeah so uh, let's see go back to oh not object manager uh, content browser and you have these cool uh, cool objects and then you can go into business and um you have a bank vault and these these uh these objects are actually pretty well made. Uh, I think they're made by the people at Cinema 4D, like the makers at, at Maxon or whatever. Um so it's not like they're shitty objects like this. Oh, I didn't remove the other thing, but uh there's just some cool stuff. Um it is really useful if you don't feel like downloading uh or modeling on your own if you don't feel like modeling an object on your own or um, downloading an object from a website then there's a lot of cool stuff in here <clears throat> um, there's it's not just business stuff you can go to celebration there's this cool shit uh, go to food there's a lot of food beer beer bowl burger fuck stop texting me alright so uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here and then go to gambling, this blackjack table, there's a chip, cards, crabs table. So you could you could do a lot with all of the uh, free stuff that they give you. Um, it is really cool for those of you that didn't know, this is a really cool thing. Um, some of these objects are really weird and you'll never use them ever, but some of them are cool. Like there's the Dundee's Award basically from The Office, um, the movie Clap, Studio Spotlight, uh, some musical symbols, just a lot of stuff that'll come in handy. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, go to content or go to Windows and Content Browser. So I have allergies, so my voice may be a little weird. So um, yeah, guys, I hope this helped. There's also some presets, and those are just the presets, like your material presets. You can already access those by going to File, Load, Preset, and that. So uh, this is really quick, just sort of a tip. Uh, so I hope you guys like, favorite, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I just hit 2.5k. I really don't have anything planned. I think there may be a big contest. I'm not sure. Um, the big contest will be a $100 prize, but I'm still sorting that out. That's a lot of money to give away. Um, so yeah, guys, there will just be uh, just a few things. Um, I'm trying for one video a day for a while. And... Also, guys, when I upload Call of Duty videos, it's because I don't have a tutorial plan for that day, and I don't have a speed art plan for that day. My imagination is just 
on hold, I guess. So I, I upload a Call of Duty video. This is that is because this is my personal channel. The HD Gameplay Vault is my uh, community channel, and if I upload my personal stuff to my community channel, that takes away a spot for another guy to upload to that channel. If you understand what I'm saying, um, I try and help out a lot of people on that channel by uploading their videos. I know the, the channel doesn't get that great of views, but um. Yeah, so basically if I upload my stuff, my personal stuff to my community channel, then I'm taking away a spot from another guy, if that makes sense to you guys. So um, anyways guys, like, favorite, comment the video, and peace.